Hi fellow YouTubers and 1-6 scale figure collectors this is Lycan of the Underworld back again with another uh, figure show shall I say it's not a, not really a review this is uh, another of my monster hunters you might have seen previous videos where I, I had two Jade Van Helsing figures um, that I customised a little bit well this is the next one that I'm gonna start to customise a little bit more this is the Dakota figure from the Dead Cell series uh, Psy Girl type figure just got it in the post today uh, really nice figure this, it doesn't come with a lot of accessories just comes with a couple of weapons and a few extra hands and a jacket what I've done so far with this figure is I've changed the head this is um, an Angelina Jolly head sculpt from head play also on this arm um, you can see she's got a like a brown leather gauntlet there that comes with the figure but what I've done just to hide the elbow joints is I've bought um, this uh, bit of wrapping that comes from the Hot Toys Alice figure and that I've just bought and placed over the arm there just to cover the joint because I do not like showing joints off I think it spoils the figure's look so I'll show you what sort of clothing she's got she's got this black t-shirt so this figure all comes pre-assembled you only have to add the guns and the hands she's got these nice jeans uh, with the sort of boot boot cut fit to them and they are frayed at the bottom just to make them a little bit more uh, realistic her shoes at the bottom of her shoes she's got um, magnetic uh, little magnets on the bottom because um, this figure doesn't come with a stand but you can buy specialized stands that um, are available for these figures that are magnetized so you can just stand her straight on there which is a nice little touch on her knee there is like a leather sort of strapping her gun holster is a leather sort of strapping as well it goes from the leg connects up to the one the leather that goes around her waist and that all also connects up to the leather around her chest there comes with this handgun uh, I don't like this handgun I will change that for a Hot Toys gun at some stage the clip at the bottom does come out so she comes with several different hands she's got two of these open palmed hands one for either side two hands for holding the sword which I'll show you in a minute two fisted hands as well and she also comes with two gun hands Sorry about that scraping noise in the background. My neighbour's digging his garden up. Um, on this arm, if I can get the light off of it, she's got a, a little bit of white clothing around the wrist there. And she's also got a bit of leather strapping just around the elbow there. So it's a very nice head sculpt, this one. Uh, so this isn't the one that comes with the figure. This is the head that comes on the figure. I didn't really like it that much. Um, I suppose it's not bad um, for a cheaper figure. Um, obviously the hair has got to be styled because it comes out of the box like this and it wasn't very good. So that's why I thought I'd change the head sculpt to something a little bit more realistic. Um, she also comes with this spare jacket. Um, it's a leather type feel to it. It's got obviously zip at the front and it's got zips on either either arm there on the sleeves what I don't like about this um, is this zip it's not to scale obviously they put a bigger zip on it just so you can it's easier for you to undo and do up but I prefer it to be to scale um, which is why I haven't shown it with this plus it will hide up um, it will hide up all this as well and you won't be able to see it so I prefer it without it yeah, it's got a dead cell logos on there, one on the chest and one on the arm if I turn around I'll just hold her so she doesn't fall over she has uh, a sword in its scabbard the 
the scabbard just slips um, if we just move our hair to one side see there there's the leather strap in there's a little slot there for the scabbard to go down through I'm not going to change any of that I think that looks pretty good as it is um, all I'm going to do is maybe add a couple of um, extra weapon to upgrade that gun for a better one maybe give her a shotgun as well um, maybe a knife on her leg nothing too drastic because there's not a lot really you need to change with this figure I think it looks good as it is I will be buying some custom stands for these figures as well um, I have got another dead cell figure on the way um, and I'm gonna add a few more things to that one as well hopefully that should be here next week so I'll be able to do a quick sort of video on that and then when I've customized them to how I want them to look I'll give you a final video of these two figures before I um, decide to buy a couple more and what I'll probably do with the other two is make my own from the body upwards um, it's a little project that I'm going to do I bought this off eBay from a guy in Hong Kong I think it was uh, about the same price as the others about 75 to 80 pound which isn't a bad price for a base figure um, these figures are great for customising articulation is superb on these figures um, we've got obviously neck articulation, wrist, elbow, shoulders you've also got waist articulation as well over quite easily it's got good knee and hip articulation and ankle articulation as well so there you go that's the next one in my Monster Hunter series Feel free to leave comments and subscribe if you wish. So until my next video, this is Likely of the Underworld signing off. And I'll catch you later.